Hey, welcome to Get Weld Soon. Today we're gonna to do some TIG welding on a T-joint. I got two plates tacked up here. I'll show you how to do it. So when you're doing this, you wanna just lay your wire right in, right in the joint, okay? Uh, at about that angle. You know, 15, 15 to 20 degree angle, as you see. So when you fire up, angle your TIG rig in the direction you're going just a little bit and hold your wire at the angle I showed you. When you fire up, uh, you wanna make sure you get a little puddle going. Make sure you're melting the, your plates first and then you start adding a little wire. And you wanna make a back and forth motion, top plate to the bottom plate, slowly. Make sure your, your puddle is wet all the way down into the joint. That way you're getting penetration all the way down. A lot of people, they'll just lay their wire up there and just, as long as it looks good on the, on the surface, then uh, they think they're doing good. But then you tear this T-joint apart and you can see that that edge is not broken down or, or not melted together good. Uh, so just go slow and make sure you're watching your puddle and make sure it's wet all the way down in the joint. So here's where I was talking about. You wanna fire up and make sure the plates are melting down first before you start adding wire. And uh, then just, just watch your puddle. Make sure the leading edge is uh, is melting and wet all the way down into the joint. That way you get penetration all the way to the edge of that plate. You want it to all to be broke down really good. Now here you see that I'm, I'm dabbing the wire and then I pull the wire out of it so I can see the puddle. I'll see it melt down all the way into the joint. Uh, I recommend you doing it this way, uh, learning. Um, of course, I mean, I don't, I don't normally do that do it this way now but uh anyway i'm just showing you how to do it that way you know for sure that you're uh, breaking it down all the way to the joint um of course you know you could crank the heat up and just lay it in there and just run over it and uh but i recommend doing it this way while you're learning because uh, you learn so much by pulling the wire out and, and actually seeing what your puddle is doing There's my first pass, root pass. Now I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a layer on top of it. And you wanna feed your wire a little above the middle. Feed it towards the top because as you come down, gravity's gonna wanna just pull it down. It's gonna look like it's, it's gonna start sagging if you feed it in the middle or toward the bottom. So I prefer to feed mine toward the top a little bit and drag it down. Now this, uh, this pass here is what you call a hot pass is all I'm doing. Um, you usually do this on, uh, if you're, after you put a root in a pipe, uh, you'll run over it uh, like this, a hot pass. Uh, it's basically just to thicken it up before you go to stick welding and then you stick weld the rest of the pipe out. But anyhow, uh, if you're learning, uh, I'm assuming you probably wanna end up learning uh, how to pipe weld. And uh, so this is good practice for uh, doing a hot pass. Not adding much wire here, uh, basically just running over it 
and uh, it'll it'll slick up the weld and uh, make it a little thicker. And here's after the last pass. That turned out pretty, pretty decent. Now, I'm gonna tear this thing off with a crescent wrench, hopefully, and uh, see how we did. That didn't work. Try number two. Still didn't work. Try number three. Turns out I am a pretty good welder. Try number four. Boy, that's really on there. All right. Don't you tell me my weld ain't strong. Well, I wouldn't recommend that vice. <laughs> Guys, I have done broke my freaking vice. I'll tell you what, what a piece of crap. That's junk. That's a, that's called a hit. Yeah, that's a hit, all right. What a piece of crap. So anyway, guys, sorry I broke my vice, so I can't finish it like that. But anyway, here's my weld. If you look on the back side, what you normally do is break it all the way apart and then you can see it really good. But here you can see, you can see the new metal um, that I put in it. You can see the shiny new metal and you can't see the edge of the plate, which means it broke down. It melted down. The edge of the plate melted down all the way through and that's what you want. So that's what you wanna do. You wanna watch that edge of that puddle. Make sure the leading edge of the puddle is wet all the way down in that groove in the joint. Uh, that way you're penetrating all the way to the crack, all the way to the joint. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you're interested in any of these weld sleeves here, if it's smoking hot like it is here in uh, Tennessee, it's freaking hot right now. And uh, I don't wanna wear a welding jacket to be honest with you. They work great. You can wear a t-shirt, throw your sleeves on, and your arms are protected. This uh, Miller Digital Elite welding hood. If you're interested in any, any of these things, I'll try to leave a link below for you. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. So that's what you want to do. You want to watch that edge of that puddle. Make sure the leading edge of the puddle is wet all the way down in that groove in the joint. Uh, that way you're penetrating all the way to the crack, all the way to the joint. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you're interested in any of these welding sleeves here, if it's smoking hot like it is here in uh, Tennessee, it's freaking hot right now. And uh, I don't want to wear a welding jacket, to be honest with you. They work great. You can wear a t-shirt, throw your sleeves on and your arms are protected. This uh, Miller Digital Elite welding hood. If you're interested in any, any of these things, I'll try to leave a link below for you. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. So that's what you want to do. You want to watch that edge of that puddle. Make sure the leading edge of the puddle is wet all the way down in that groove in the joint. 
Uh, that way you're penetrating all the way to the crack, all the way to the joint. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're interested in any of these welding sleeves here, if it's smoking hot like it is here in uh, Tennessee, it's freaking hot right now. And uh, I don't want to wear a welding jacket, to be honest with you. They work great. You can wear a t-shirt, throw your sleeves on, and your arms are protected. This uh, Miller Digital Elite welding hood. If you're interested in any, any of these things, I'll try to leave a link below for you. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.